Hey guys, how are we doing on this fine Wednesday? I am doing all right. I'm still um, pretty stressed uh, with work, but it is what it is. I just realized my key light just seems to have got darker. Hmm, I saw that out after. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, but I'm getting there with it. Um, kind of at the point where I don't really want to go into work tomorrow. Um, but obviously, got to And uh, I am also helping that EP. <laughs> um, hoping that. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Well, than that, I'm all good. So let's crack on with some. Zelda. We're right here. So we're going to. Where's the Great Fairy? Over there. Right. We need to be down there. And away we go. <laughs> Big, beautiful moon, indeed. We need to do some cooking tonight as well. Okay. Where the musicians at? May not be here. Still trying to work out how to do that. It's just not the same. Ah, I know that fish. Yes, that's a fish I know. Have you come to meet another great fairy? Oh. Uh, I must be mistaken. Really soon, the great fairy Cotera says you're not all attraction to Jewel and Pete's stable. Oh. At last, the local great fairy hasn't emerged from a flower of blood in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at Woodland stable. Oh. He's listened to Beats' his drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again, well, he just thinks she's right, but Beats simply isn't here. Beats is a young man who plays for the stable trials. One day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. Oh, uh, there was that trial who heard a drum somewhere. Where was that again? Here near Kakariko village to the north, where the road bends around Bonru stand. Okay. Where's the nearest place? Oh, okay. Alright, I'll just get to my house. Alright. Um
Where's the pogies? I'm in pogie. I don't think I actually need too many of them. What do I need? I got. I need like stamina elixirs. That's what I need. something Let's see what that creates. Just seriously, just milk. I just put milk into that recipe. Right, 
Let's make some cream of chicken soup. And some dubious stuff. Mighty bananas. All my money on Beetle the last two nights. Now the cares, Beetle. See. Maybe that'll entice him to come into the stream. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Go fast, the horse. to the bridge then I can't work out if that's my fault or not. I'm gonna go with no. I could be wrong. this guy.
Bidum buzz buzz a boom boom boom. Yeah, that. <coughs> Wah! Hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. <laughs> Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I got to try. See, the conductor in the musical trip I'm playing has been a little down. I feel if I'm making some homemade grapes, I should cheer around a maestro right up. I can't get my hands on any call some bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? So I'm trying to lure some bees with my bee. All I need are three columns of honey. Someone said there were some beehives around Kakariko village to the north, near that huge hole that opened up. That hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. Alright. Guess we're going to Kakariko village. In that huge hole, so that must be that. Have we not been to Kakariko village yet? <laughs> Must not have been. Scary. Okay, that's why it is too tall. That's not. Okay. Backing up the wrong dream. Yes, 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 yes. 
Give me. I just realized I haven't opened my can of cock. Uno momento. Alright, pause you. Exactly. as far as I'm going to go in the house. No, we must be here. Apparently something. Apparently sure. We jumped down. <laughs> That's an impressive pumpkin. in Kakariko village. How about a ring island? He made oh, lots of 95 rupees each. I'll take one. <laughs> I mean, I think that would kind of like go in my inventory, but... It's not bad. How are you, my friend? What's this one? High Spirits Produce. Oh. I don't remember actually being in here. That guy has nothing. Right. I don't see... Any beehives? <laughs> Enchanted. People always ban me from streams. I don't know why. You were getting close for me to take. I have to take action, you know. Per bit, probably bastards. Uh, 
Uh, huh? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just, I'm just so tired lately. Sorry. Look, it won't help to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop when my little sister Lucy is looking after her. We're sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. I'm sorry about this, but we nearly need money for grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the prices and everything we have in stock. Just for now, though, as soon as I get grandmother, as soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can set her prices back to normal. I know I should bring home my, my home situation in the shop, but. Let's get off my chest. Probably shouldn't have done all that. Okay, time to say ah. my professionalism. I'm so sorry about that. Allow me to welcome you to ah. Enchanted. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC branded fashion unless you go to Hatano Village. Why go there when we can meet all your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quality. <coughs> Situation at home? See, my grandma's sick in bed with a strange and lost my little sister unless he wanted to take care of. I was supposed to be studying fashion out in southeast in Hatano village by now. But she loves our grandmother so much she had she's put her dreams on hold. Mm. Sorry about this, but we really need money. Yeah. Done that bit. Mm. Alright. I guess we need to talk to her. I see. That's just a destroyed house. Let's see what was up here. Tony's living here. Alright. See what this guy says. Good grief, Slade pays you to take care of the village. I'm not going to take my eyes off her. She's elbowed in some true and new problem. Hmm? Oh. Is that really you? Wait, Link? Why, well, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear in it here in the village. And right now, too, while the chief is. The chief? This music made me want to kick Cuckoo. Cuckoos. Okay. Uh, I suppose you haven't heard the farm chief let the Empire retired. Now, where the Empire is the chief of Kakariko village, I've been working as an ins assistant, but Lily Pai is ignoring her responsibility. She won't listen to anything say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Uh. You know, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zone 9 server team. That ruin over there. Oh. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Would you mind doing me a favor and stop by to see Lady Pai? Sure will. Hello, Jim. I do like KFC every now and then. Not often, but. Yeah. The drawing rooms are the most intriguing rooms I've researched, especially this one. The way part of it floats up there. You have the foresight to focus on all these special rooms and invite the server team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Pyre. Oh no. I'm. I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really chief in there, only, since I still have a great deal to. Hmm? Oh, is that you, Master Link? I'm so happy that I get to see you again. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. I think the last time oh? I had KFC, I got a double downer, and that's at the point where I went, I'm good on KFC. Oh, Princess Zelda is still missing. That's, that just confuses me. Well, you see, I actually met with the princess not too long ah. ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us all to stay far away from the ring rooms that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. She left as soon as she left. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from her. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. So a pirate and I suspect at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not speak, Master Link, especially in a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Might be. Oh, my apologies, Miss Ling. I'm so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zone A service team. There you go. It's Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zone A service team. 
I invited him here to investigate the rumors that fallen over it. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zone civilization. He's even familiar with Zone script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. She's definitely uh, fawning over him a little bit, isn't she? It's the six pack. Oh. It's clear that the floating room room that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredible valuable find. Several more ring runes with such a shape as found down around the village. Was broken a pattern somewhere. What's fascinating is that stone slab with the writing was found at each side. The cipher in the text shows that each slab contains rather interesting content including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Mm. I think that perhaps the room floating in the air also has a slide that makes mention of the sages. Mm. Can't investigate, so that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. But only, if only I can meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Mm. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story with Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that room alone. Well... <laughs> You might. I have no such problems. <laughs> I'm supposed to be here getting bloody honey. I haven't even seen... Hey, you there. Come here. Oh, grumpy old twilight. Haven't you heard? She was forbidden to get near the ring room by Princess Zelda's orders. She better be on her eye. You heard me. Princess Zelda came out to Kakariko village the other day and told everyone to stay clear of that ring. She left in her hurry. So I didn't quite catch the why of it all. As you shall notice, these rooms could come crumbling down at any time. So folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her concerns were coming from. Alright, fine. Right, let's go stop at the inn. Let's see if we can make it so that... Oh, hey. come on. Welcome, friend. Is all this feeling heavy? You've come to the right place. Beginning you bidding this in at the shops for a paltry 10,000 rubies. What? Fuck off. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. You should have seen the look on your face. Phew. Yeah, I don't even work here. I stopped by helping to catch some Z's when the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He said I had to go make up beds in the survey team tents and that, that he'd be right back. But um, I don't think he's coming back. I want to look for him, but there are only four tent camps in this village. There are four tent camps in this village and only one me. Ah. I'm going to track down the other time to come back already. And across some sleepy looking guy spacing out, you find your man. Right, fine. Ah. You can see the ring room too, right? But as you when you're running around the village in the sights. If you want to learn about the ring room, be sure to ask the zone. Right, hey, it stopped raining. Right. Let's keep an eye out for honey. That is not a tent room. A tent camp. Uh, so we're looking for tent camps and honey or beehives. Hmm. Any 
right, boom seeds. Apples, no bees. I'll tell you what counts. Ten counts must be off, mustn't they? Let's go to the shrine first. Then we're at least high up. Shut up, you stupid rooster. Okay, so I was right about that. Ooh, there's even a zone eye thing over there. Nice. <coughs> to be fair, I think we only have actually one great fairy to unlock. Maybe two, I'm not sure. Might be two, actually. Oh, an upright device. What is this thing? Pew. Stabilizer. Stabilizers do. Now I know what stabilizers do. Okay. 
Okay. Do I need to... I think I need to climb up here. Then can I fly over there? There's a step on over there. Is that just a spare? Through this climb, I was going to drop into the hall and cause the following cutscene. Same one, does <laughs> I thought it might be to get like the chest. It doesn't appear like it is. I wonder if it is. 
it's just a... Okay, no chest in this one? Question mark? There's always a chest. Sometimes there is two. Like the other ring runes, those that fell into the plateau south of the village also held the stone towers on their inscriptions. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the room, the likes of which we have never seen. Russians, this is such ancient text revealed that it was a sundaline, a plant long thought extinct. We're currently borrowing a local plum market for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. Not our investigation of a round device filled with strange objects has we will come to a standstill. <laughs> Come to a standstill, has it now? Let me show you what this does. You just do this once. through here or is this just more runes? Stone Slavits and Ring Rune, some translation notes. Who, who protect of Hyrule from the Dream King together, King? They were known as sages. What I take from this is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I would guess at how to fill in the gaps, it would be something like those who were known as sages protecting the kingdom of Hyrule from the Demon Kings. That's a good guess. Nothing funny in there. Finding bees is proving difficult. Hi! <laughs> Didn't that kind of happen to, so, so close to a village? This one's constant observation. So this is leading the ring ruins investigation team. That leaves me to focus on the gloom. Ahem. Watch it. 
Not to stand on me. Phew, that was close. I could have fallen. Uh -huh. Specialist in gloom, not defying gravity. One false step, and that's the end of my research. Now, what brings you here? Have you come for a professional consultation in gloom, perhaps? Uh, where's the Inanna? Uh -huh. Inanna? Ah, the spacey looking fellow. Made the beds recently, but I haven't seen him since. Ah. Perhaps he went to that tent over there. He said they'd have an easy time finding it because of the bizarre ruins on the spot. Ah. Wonder if he made it. Looks like he was about to fall asleep. Oh. Ah. Okay, he definitely didn't. Look. Shout out if I do this. Ooh, no. Because no one saw me. I am stealth link. All these boxes for the arrows, but I cannot be asked. Oh my, wake up. Wake up, oh please wake up. Sigur is not far off and if he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs. Priceless artifact. I'll be the one that gets it. But the end of it. Well, the end is him, that guy there. He gets in your beds, but then realize he's fallen sound asleep. Nothing wakes him. I tried shouting and shaking him, nothing. So I decided to doze off on top of this priceless stone slab. He's been saying truffle now and then. Maybe he's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. I wonder if he'd wake up if he smelled one right under his nose. It's hard to get a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. I did find one, however. Ah. Bombing under that waterfall. Don't I? <coughs> Do we use all those hearty truffles? I think we did, didn't we? When we were cooking earlier. Well, that'll teach me. Yep. Right, fine. At least we know where to go. And more or less how to There's no hard to trouble here, like I wanted. Hmm. 
Say, it was balloon boat and then that waterfall. You think coach has been still to do a bit, but. I know, that's what I'm trying to do. I've, got, I've been distracted. Because I need to be in Kakariko Village to find Huni. Maybe there's a hearty truffle in here. Never know. Ooh, there's some fairies though. Damn it. All the fairies have gone because I'm an idiot. Hey, truffle, there we go. Sorry. Oh, wow. Come here. Just want to go back in here. Try and get a fairy if I can get him to respawn. But then not to respawn it. Okay, we'll come back in a bit. Of course. Give 
German and Serbian people are very, very smart. Not necessarily just Japanese people. Japanese game developers. I'm reading um, Jason Schreier's book at the minute, uh, Blood, Sweat and Pixels. And it's all about um, famous closures of famous uh, studios in the game industry and how it affects the actual developers. It's quite good. Drove from the range range for I'm missing him. Yeah, you may hide, but my nose, 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 cold. Josh, a gentleman around with a strong hat and to make dear hat show. How have you now? Aww. Yeah, well, if you're interested in game development. At all that um, book is really good. It talks about like the like like the nomadic nature of game developers in the U.S. and um, how they could never be sure where the next paycheck were coming from. And it talks about Thirty Eight Studios, which did Kingdoms of Amalur, Reckoning, and um, Irrational Games, like the, the Bioshock developer, like the big one that everyone knows. Pretty good. Huh? 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 Was that? Was that just a dream? And where am I? That's right. I'm changing the beds. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the end. Ooh, that troll is going to be so mad at me. Right, that's that done. There's one. A stupid bees. Interested in animation. Nice. What would you like to animate, Moss? Thanks for waking this game. No one watching the end for me. He's like something giving me about my friend. Oh man, looks like your pouch is full. Let's give you a sticky elixir too. I don't know when you got some more in your pouch. Right? Yeah, I right, look about I thought your food pouch was unlimited. <coughs> oh. 
Okay. How's that done? Um. Right. Let's get back on target, shall we? He did. He definitely said he needs three honeycombs, didn't he? Was he horsey? We're literally going horse. Something sweet, hey baby, in your pouch there? Yeah, have some honey. Mm. Alright. My bee didn't reach the bees, but I guess it got you moving. With these, I can whip up a honey crate for the conductor. It was a healthy cake. What? Still, trials back in action. What am I doing here? They didn't mean to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I hit up every single cell, I'll run into them sooner or later. Should be long before I can offer the troop leading hey. my services again. Well, until next time. If there's a next time. See you. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Um, shattered. We've still got the washing up to do tonight. All the dishes for my American friends. I'd rather listen to this beats. I stole it during my beats in return. Sorry, Drupal, I am making my bad moments worry about me that way. Well, the you really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. But the beating heart of the stable trotters pulses one more. Three cheers for our own beats. I'm bringing over with happiness to the point that I can't keep away from it. I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. Who no doubt shares my concern for the great friar? I don't understand. Like, I know they've got limitations, like time limitations and things like that. What I don't understand is why um, they reused that same little bit about the great fairy for this. Because they did it same on the last fairy.
That's better. Don't look as dark now. Um. Alright. Alright, good old horsey. I thought it might not be so hard I see now that I was mistaken. He went up with a breeze's wheel and float the crystal and come would run that plan of ground. Oh, Get very so near you so far. Right. Oh. Don't worry, my friend. I got this. Making a boot. Is we there? Uh, okay. That's not exactly what we wanted. Put this contraption in the water. What happens? It sinks because it's too heavy. Okay. Hmm. 
This is the ugliest boat anyone has ever made in the history of the world. <laughs> I did spot I'm sure I spotted. <laughs> Shall I spray another fan? There we go. Let's try. Take this off. Just spray something that will help. Okay. Go over here. Seems a little more fun, so. I'm trying to make a boat for the thing. Take you. Yeah, yeah. Assuming this works, of course. stupid boat. Yeah, it actually worked. I'm not sure I needed the fan and the sail. Please everyone, the Red Fairy needs us. Pretty sure we've got one left. Damn it! Yahoo! Mario? Oh, we've done it! Wowza, I think my hand just picked up the tempo. 
Musical stylings of stable trolls are the cure for anyone's malaise. Thank you once again. I prepared the token of thanks so substantial I hope it is double stitch. You deserve every last bit of it. Now that my own pack is alive, I can concentrate on the performance. Proud to say that the great fairy Gotera is at peace. If she wasn't the last great fairy, still show away in the final book. That's why we must be off at once to visit the next great fairy. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. Darling, what a feeling. The first breathing a breath of fresh air is just so intoxicating. The beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart, darling. Mm. What about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? I me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Ah. Power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Enhance away. Mm. Light dragon scale. Oh, uh, that's why she, I can't do it. I ain't got any other stuff. Right, that makes sense. Mm. Mm. Hey, that my big sister Mija is near a stable in the Hebrew region northwest of here. See you later, this. See ya. <laughs> I did. Hebra. Yeah, there she is. Right, the problem I've got now, I'm doing all these great failure quests and I don't have the stuff to enhance, enhance my armor anymore. Which is a bit annoying, especially since some of the stuff involves fighting Lynels. Which I'm not sure I can currently do effectively. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Where's that stairwell? There it is. Might as well unlock them all and then it's done, and then we can... <laughs> this is all the same stuff, so I'm not going to repeat talking it out loud. Aww. Time of Eustace's home, so I thought to calm her nose with his Susan Tootles. Eustace is a young man who plays the horn for his stable trials. But one day, he split off from the troop and no one's seen him since. There's one traveller who came from Tabanthus Bridge Stable, far south of here, and heard a sound like a horn. Having placed well past at the end of the Tabantha Great Bridge, where along that road. So far away. Oh, he used to swake him, oh god. Okay. We'll travel there. Okay. 
So that's that. So he's over there somewhere. Um. Find a couple of shrines. This is gonna fall down, but let's try. Maybe I should have got my house. But hey ho. It'll be right. As they say in Yorkshire. Five points if you know what that's a reference to. Come on, boys. So when you're not going to acknowledge that a friend has just been killed, eh? Yeah, 
I have already done that. find what I believe is the last member of the troop. Who's uh, that guy? He looks like a Holland player. Hello, Damas. Oh, hey, did you come down here to rescue me? So I used to play the home with the still trotters, it's true. <laughs> what? The great fairy went into hiding, and so the troop is looking for me? Well, from bad to worse. Have you heard how Rita Verge and obviously struggling to get enough food? It really breaks my heart. No, because I've sorted that problem. The Rita were always good to use, good to us when our music show was touring the kingdom. Oh. So when I heard about a fierce blizzard tearing into Rita Village, I couldn't just sit and do nothing. I slipped away from the troop and made their for their village with supplies and songs to ease their burdens. Got my wagon going, a quick trot on the, this road, and I suddenly dove into this hole. Didn't used to be here. Oh. I thought I was riding rang off somewhere, and my cargo was spoiled. The only thing I have left is this wagon. I didn't know that while I was stuck in this hole, the great fairies went to hiding my troop we found. So I was like, I should get out of this hole and drive back up the stable trot as soon as I can, but oh. can't climb out. Climb up the side of this hole, not without my wagon at least, and then drive and not leave it behind. Mm. I believe that someone came to rescue me, but I hope you have plans to free me from this hole. Stupid, weirdly indestructible boxes. Alrighty. Let's see. Up this goes. I don't think I need a horse from Stella. Uh, well, maybe, not right now. <laughs> One problem at a time, Jim. One problem at a time. Well, to be fair, you are. Mm-hmm. 
You are out to the hole. <laughs> you are finally out. I, I got so I fucked up my glass and missed what you did. Uh. You did it. You actually did it. Thank you. If you want to come along, I want to know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. Couldn't think if I hadn't made such a rash decision during the early stages of the evil. I don't know if I'm going to Maybe things would have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies are cleared to help feed Rito Village have all spoiled by now, anyway. Oh. I should get back to the stable traps and rejoin my environments. That will do more good. For the time being, I should head to the Snowfield Stable and play my home for the Great Fairy oh. there. Oh, one more thing. Take this, please. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up on my travels. This is the least I can do for getting you out of here. Yeah. Now we're better be on me. Why don't you come to Snowfield Stable and hear us perform? I will. See? No horse required, Jim. Now he is with a band at a stable. Yes, he is. Snowfield still. He is there. Just, I don't understand why it's just the shrines that are fast travel points. Why can't like the stables be fast travel points as well? somewhere to get them to yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, I didn't know you Trevor, we've had a delightful development Look, I mean listen, it's useless, he and his horn are back in our troops I break and think of the poor fellow getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rito village Not to self, Eustace doesn't get to drive the cart anymore yeah, yeah. I'm glad he's out of his funk and fit as a fiddle He says his horn will blow the stable trotters back on course Every memory is essential for our signature sound. Together, we are not just the stable trotters in my heart. We'll always be yeah, yeah. the stable gallopers. There's so much for us. I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. That's five thank yous from the five of us. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, this is a new start for the stable trotters. May our performance like the great fairies, not all travelers. No, no. Let everyone in the world be washing in sweet, soothing music. Yeah. Even though you're all clearly freezing your knackers off. Yeah, yeah. Now that Eustace is here, we can bring the sound of his on to the Great Fairy. I wonder if we could go and perform for her right away. But of course, there's always something holding up the show. <laughs> Our breeze's roof is broken, so we'll be at the mercy of them. It's just look at the snow falling. We might fall ill in such weather, and how will we perform at our best then? I did try to attach a roof to Breeze. Alas, I couldn't reach high enough to do more than some. Posts. Oh, I've got a roof and breeze out. I promise for the gate friend is good as cancelled. Fine. I mean, the roof is not actually going to do much here, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> and get it a bit more central at least. <laughs> What's this? A razor been fair with the roof. Oh. Mm. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. 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 Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anybody need a guide? No, you weirdo don't coot. Yes, the ranger is working. Well, that just sure I think doesn't work, is it? God damn it. I think I broke the game. No, there we go. I don't understand why the roof fell off. Horse attached, roof attached. Seriously. Just enough time. Yeah. I don't know, it's actually time to finish, but just enough time to get this done. <laughs> you have our thanks, you're taking the right where we need to be. <laughs> you like the cutscenes. <laughs> Alright everyone, no time to doll. Strike up the band or an is a great fairy herself.
Qué bueno. Did not notice that. Darlings. <laughs> the great fairy has returned to This is this is one of the greatest days of my life. Uh. Great fairy self and my humble humbling. What a day! What a divine presence! What splendor! I remember this moment all my life. Uh -huh. Can't hang around all day. We must turn to the stable to share the good news. Thank you again, which leaves only your rod now. Yeah, don't be shy. Yeah, yeah. We see that last they wore it pretty light, but that's no excuse to skip an effect. A year coming. A clear conscience is worth every week. Oh, a musical troupe was finally performed for all the great fairies. I moved them, inspired them, beside myself with joy. Oh. Thank you so much for not giving up and forging it despite all the obstacles. Every time great fairies emerge in response to our music, give us all of this troupe confidence in our play. Oh. If you ever want to hear my beats, stop by a stable. If we're there, I'll give you a rhythm to remember. Ooh. She's not all the far from it, we're just getting started. We'll keep playing and make audiences smile all over the kingdom. Uh. So to us to put all our thoughts and feelings to our music when we play. From now on, I want our music to suit every traveller who comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. Oh. I can see you're an honorary member of our grand stable trotters troop. Might to know your name? Oh. Link, eh? Hmm. So that's what we can call the hero who saved our grand troop. Yeah, yeah. I'll remember that. I surely will remember. Our grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the stable trotters no more. Yeah, yeah. I know it's genuine who let us be known as the stable heroes. Yeah, yeah. Alright then, I'm going back to the stable. I'll borrow this sauce and don't you worry. We'll return this noble steed. Yeah, yeah. By the house, thank you. You better return my horse, it's a golden horse. Thieving twat. So you're the one who arranged those silly sounds for me. I would have liked to be released by someone bigger, but... No comment. Oh. Well, a slim little lad like you is fine too, I suppose. Oh. This world is not so great as I thought. To thank you for opening my eyes, I can hand you our clothing. But of course, I require the necessary materials to do it. Mm However, -hmm. you are lacking any clothing that I can enhance. Here, let's take a look. Maybe I can see what's stopping me from helping. Okay. You need 20 amber. Jesus. There's a shroom. I like this. Light dragon scale. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think maybe not. Maybe. All right. And that is all the great fairy. So the great fairy quest is complete. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will be back for the final stream of this week, tomorrow night. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Probably some regional phenomena. Um, uh, so, have a fantastic rest of your day and a fantastic uh, Thursday and, I, and sweet dreams. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks for everyone who's chatted, everyone subbed, everything. Uh, yeah, sweet dreams. Good night.